Hi, I'm Gretchen Abenschein, and I'm here to talk about this painting, Vilas Bridge, which was painted by my late husband, Jerry Fole. He painted it in 2001. He loved painting scenes around Bellows Falls, and when I was approached by friends of the library asking if we would be able to put this painting on display in the Rockingham Library, I thought, what a great place to put a painting like this. It's a monumental painting. I believe it's one of his most significant paintings, and I really appreciate having it someplace where people can admire the painting and recognize the scene. The Great Falls between Rockingham, Vermont, and Walpole, New Hampshire, were the first place on the Connecticut River where a bridge was built. In 1929, a local businessman named Charles Vilas donated the funds for the building of this beautiful open spandrel concrete bridge. The bridge served until 2009 when the state of New Hampshire, which owns all the bridges on the Connecticut River, closed it. It sat dormant since then. Recently, there's been a lot of interest about trying to return the Vilas Bridge to some sort of productive use, whether as a vehicular bridge or as kind of a tourist attraction like the Bridge of Flowers in Shelburne Falls, Massachusetts. I think it's very important that we preserve the bridge, and I think there's no better way to kind of bring it to public consciousness than to celebrate it with this beautiful painting and have it in the library where it can be seen by people from all over. As many people know, the Rockingham Library is the town central gathering place for its residents. And Jerry Falls' painting of the Vilas Bridge symbolizes the ties that Rockingham has with its region. Having the painting at the library will really ensure that the painting will be viewed by the most people as possible in the town. And also having it here will draw attention to the library's historical collection and hopefully it will spark long-term investment in its uh, preservation and expansion.